Email to Jack Black, written while sitting on the toilet, 12.15am. Jack, I'm in possession of my wife's ashes. Should I microdose on them every day to prove my love? Hello friend, we missed you by Richard Owen Roberts, won the 2020 Not the Booker Prize, which is the Guardian Newspaper Book Awards in the UK. It's a darkly comic novel and it's set on the Isle of Mon in the northwest corner of Wales. Now, Mon is somewhere that you're probably more familiar with by its English name of Anglesey. It's the last part in Wales before you catch the ferry into Ireland. It's quite an isolated place. It's just got this meandering feel to it. And this setting really comes across well in this novel. And it complements the character of Hill. And Hill is this character who does some very problematic things. It should not be easy to like Hill, except that Hill is suffering from the loss of his partner, Lucy. Hill's grief really comes through in this novel. You can understand Hill's actions, he, you know, why he's doing terrible things is because he's depressed, because he can't deal with not having Lucy anymore. On top of that, his father, who he still blames for the suicide of his mother, is terminally ill. He won't call his father dad or anything like that. He calls his father Roger. He calls his father by his given name. You're left wondering why Hill does that. Is it to just distance himself? Is Hill struggling with intimacy? Then there is Trudy. Trudy is the carer of Roger, but quickly Trudy and Hill form this sort of complex relationship. Are they boyfriend and girlfriend? Are they sleeping together? Are they just mates? It's complicated and messy in a way that it is. It's complicated and messy, but Trudy is moving to Australia and Hill is still grieving Lucy. And the relationship, I think, can be summed up with this short passage. Hill takes a long drink from his pint of Coke. He picks up a slice of pizza and takes a bite. Trudy is staring at him unblinkingly. Wish I'd never met this person, Hill thinks. I'm alive and having a nice time in Pizza Hut, Hill thinks. Glad I met this person, Hill thinks. A lot of this book takes place in Hill's head. There feels like there's quite a lot of dialogue going on in this novel, but when you actually break it down and look at it, quite a lot of the dialogue is Hill's internal thoughts. That allows Richard Owen Roberts to write in this slightly weird style. He often repeats himself intentionally. He often will repeat things with small little iterations and small changes to them. It's a way that I certainly can relate to. It's how I often talk to myself. I will often repeat the same thing. And it's nice to see that in a novel. The back of this novel describes it as comically poignant. But I feel like that description, while being accurate, doesn't really describe what you're getting into. You might think that being a black comedy, that this is definitely a comedy. But what is so clever about this book is that the purposes of the jokes are not to make you laugh. The purpose of the jokes are to build the portrait of this man, Hill. So whether they're successful at making you laugh or not is not the point. They are successful at building a character. That's not to say that the jokes aren't funny, but to describe this book as funny just feels wrong. This is a book where technology takes quite a central stage. If we go back to this theme of isolation, one of the things that Roberts is doing is showing us how these tools of communication are often used to separate us from one another, often used to create our own little bubbles. And one of the things that Hill does is out in this rural isolated setting, he has an app on his phone which plays the sound of rain falling into a barrel just so he doesn't have to be alone with his thoughts, but just to isolate him from other people. Hill's connection with other people is really broken, and that's really interesting. By far the best bit of this novel is Hill. This novel is basically just a portrait of Hill. It's character-driven, and you get to understand what this man is going through. You get to see his grief and his recovery. You wonder, is this going to end with him killing himself, or is he going to be happy? Will he marry Trudy, or will Trudy leave him? It's very good at showing you the dark places inside Hill's head, but it's also good at showing you Trudy as well. The picture that we get to see of Trudy 
Through Hill is also really fascinating. I would have great difficulty marketing this book. I have so much empathy for the publishers. When I tried to think of what this book was similar to, I really struggled. It is in some way a mashup of Jackie S's, Daryl, Claire Fuller's Unsettled Ground and Patricia Lockwood's No One Is Talking About This. But yet, if you liked those three books, I could see you not liking this book. And if you didn't like those three books, I could see you still liking this book. Because this book is quite unique. So who would like this book? I think you have to read this if you're a character-focused reader. If you like character-driven books, this is for you. If you like books that let you feel in touch with the emotions that a character is feeling. And in this case, grief this is a book for you. Did I like this book? Yes, I did like this book. This is my first five-star read of the year. I thought that this was wonderful. I thought that this was well executed. But I do think that this is definitely going to be one that is a little bit, you love it or you don't like it. I think that everybody should take a risk on this novel because I just think that it is so wonderful that if you like character-driven, if you like depressing, if you like unique, and if you like dark comedy, that this is for you.